my nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> okay, my nighttime skincare routine is based on replenishing my skin and working on treating my skin, my pimples, and all of that. The first one is double cleansing. If you don't know double cleansing, start doing it now. It helped my skin to be better. It protected my skin from stripping. Cleansing is very important in skincare routine too. Because cleansing strips your skin from oil and that makes it prone to barrier damage. So you have to be very careful when you're cleansing because cleansing is the most damaging part in skincare routine. Guys, I don't use makeup remover. They don't work. If you know Susan Yara, you can watch her videos and she despises makeup wipes. She doesn't use makeup wipes and I don't use makeup wipes too. Aside from they're not cleansing your face from any makeup, they also contribute to trash. So I try my best not to use a product na every day nag-throw ng, ng trash. Hindi ako na may makeup remover, hindi ako na go cotton balls, but uh, that's my choice. I just want you guys to also be conscious in whatever you do, especially pag sa skincare kasi ang daming products. It's a lot of um, bottles, so let's try to help the environment and not contribute to a lot of waste. So in double cleansing, um, I first use an oil cleanser. I have tried cleansing balms before, but I prefer cleansing oils. Ito yung ginagamit kong cleansing oil. It's my second or third bottle, and I really, really like it. It removes my makeup, and hindi ko alam sa waterproof na mascara, hindi ako gumagamit nun. Pero this removes my makeup and my sunscreen, and that is all I need. But I think it's done already. So, bumili ako sa Amazon ng cleansing oil. It's a Korean cleansing oil. And itatry ko pa lang siya. So, just keep on watching my videos. And maybe next month, I might have another skincare routine. And I'll tell you all about the new products that I've used. So, this is the iUnique Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. And this is much affordable than this one. Yes. But I still don't know. I can't. I can't say anything about this one yet because I haven't tried it yet. Next is my second cleanse. This CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I love this one. Uh, this is a staple too in my nighttime skincare routine. This is very gentle. This is good for dry skin people. You can use this one as your first cleanse and double cleanse. After washing my face, sometimes I do a toner, but it's not very important. I can do without it, but this is a toner that I like. This is from Innisfree. This is a Sika toner. It comes to your skin. And I have also used the um, COSRX um, toner, Snail Mucin Essence pala. I also like that one. Pero if it's not accessible, I don't buy it. The next one is this again. This is from The Ordinary. This is the buffet. I use this day and night. This is the most important part of my nighttime skincare routine. I use a retinol. A retinol is it's the gold standard of skincare routine. I try to watch a dermatologist talking about retinol or retinoids. They, they do a lot of things. It was used to treat pimples before but then they realized after a lot of thorough research they realized that it works with everything it works with wrinkles it works with hyperpigmentation dark spots all of those things if you watch people using retinoids for a long period of time they have really really good skin so before i started my journey on that the first thing that i used was this here this one is a new one. I'm going to give it to my mom when I go home to Philippines. So, But this is the first thing that I use. This is the retinol 1% in Squalane. I use right away a 1% because I'm not afraid to use it. And 
I experience peeling but it goes away after using this one almost every other day or every day uh, but this one you cannot use every night right away you have to use it like once a week first and then try to try to get used to using this first so that you don't experience a lot of peeling and dryness of your skin the next one that i used after i finished my retinol one percent in squalane is this one from inky list this is their retinol i also also like this one after i used these two i was going to continue using them but then pimples came i decided to finally like up my journey on skincare and i bought this different gel this is the adapalene gel 0.1 percent acne treatment this is a retinoid this is a stronger product than those retinol this is the only retinoid that is not in prescription you can buy it without um seeing a dermatologist but guys make sure that you don't buy retinoic acid online you have to see a dermatologist if you want a retinoid i'm using this um almost every night now and I like the effect after just one month of using it. I love it, but I'm going to review more on this after I finished it. I'm still thinking if I'm going to buy another one of this or if I'm going to buy uh, a prescription form. I use a chemical exfoliants, but uh, like two to three times a week. So. This is what I use as of the moment. I have used a lot already before. So this is what I use. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the extra strength. And guys, this hurts like But it works. So I don't think I am going to repurchase this one. But I still have a lot. Look, my goodness. I don't know how to finish this one. But this is good before using your makeup. When you're going to a special event. If you're going to... Um, I don't know, a party or something. This is really good. But I don't use this every night. I just use it when I don't use my Adapalene gel. And sometimes I don't even use any of these um, active ingredients. I only use the buffet. Because sometimes you gotta let your skin breathe. They have a natural process of healing. Adapalene gel, this is how I use it. I use this one and then I use um, a moisturizer. After I use a moisturizer, I let it dry. And I use the Adapalin gel when it's dry already. Because if you use this one on wet skin, it absorbs more easily. And it's going to cause a lot of irritation and dryness. So I have to let it dry and use this one. And then use another moisturizer. That's how you use it. You have to be very gentle, guys. And you have to research on what works on your skin and guys what works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you skincare is very personal so you have to do a lot of research a lot of trial and error but make sure you don't use a lot of new products at the same time okay so after i use my moisturizer i use this oil oil is not very important in skincare routine but I like the feeling of having um, an oily skin. It looks very healthy when after you use a, a skincare and you have a glowing oily skin. I, I don't mind. It looks very healthy. And this is not actually an important step in skincare routine, but I just like the look of it and the feeling of it. And it doesn't cost me any breakout. This is the ordinary 100% organic rose hip seed oil. That's long. And lastly, this is what I use for my lips. Don't forget to take care of your lips, guys. And don't forget to take care of your neck and your hands. It's going to show when you get old. So my skin is going to thank me now for taking care of it. And I'm going to thank my skin when I get older and it still looks good. Diba? You have to invest in taking care of your skin, guys. So I think that concludes my skincare routine. It's very extensive, intensive. 
Thanks for watching if you're still here at the very end of my video and see you on the next one. Bye!